is uh, this is uh, John Brabs from RunMichigan.com talking to Riley Ho from uh, Heartland and uh, ran a pretty amazing time out here today. It looked like, uh, was it right around 1450, right? Yeah, right around there. Somewhere okay. between like 1448 and 1451. Okay, how did it feel out there? That felt, it's definitely felt the best that it has ever um, since the two years that I've run it because the past two years have been muddy and cold. So th this year is definitely really nice. And what, what did it go out like in the beginning for you? At the beginning, we had a nice breeze right in front. It wasn't too much where it would affect us. So it kind of helped us push it, the pace a little longer. Was there anybody with you in the beginning? Um, yes, there was a there was a senior that was with me for, through the mile. Okay, and then after that, it was by yourself then? Yep. So how did it feel being out by yourself then? It's a lot, definitely a lot harder than when there's no one around me. So I had that challenge. And I mean, having people cheering me on and having my coach tell me what time it is definitely pushes me. But it's definitely a lot harder on my own. So what were you thinking coming down that last straightaway? That last straightaway, um, the, my coaches were yelling at me to go. I was telling myself to go. I was basically dead, but I knew I had to push it beyond my limit. And it worked out in the long run. Could you see the clock right at the end then? Yeah, I saw it was like around 1449. Okay, so uh, that, I'm sure you were pretty excited after knowing what the first race time yeah. was. So, Definitely. Um, so uh, what, uh, like overall, like out there, um, you know, I know this year's been a little different with everything, and uh, but how did it feel when you when the gun went off today? Um, it felt like almost any other race. There was the initial adrenaline that pushes you on through about a half mile, and then you're on your own there. So I'd say it felt normal. All right, well, congratulations today, awesome. And you're a junior, right? Yes. All right, so you got another year to come back and defend this title, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, well, thanks, and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. So today, it's kind of like a time trial. Is that kind of a weird way to, to do a race for a state championship? <laughs> yeah, that's definitely weird, having this state meet sound like it's a time trial. When did you find out what Hobbs ran? Um, I found out uh, probably a minute or two after he finished. You're still doing your warm up, or did your coach let you know how um, I was starting to get my stuff c collected and ready to race. So. so, you're coming in, your eyes just basically on that clock the whole yep. time? Definitely. Yeah. Um, was this a situation where it would have been nice to run Hobbs head to head and do yes. it that way? Yes, definitely. That would have been a lot better to do. Is that just does that kind of, I imagine because you raced him once this year, that gets yep. the best out of everybody. Maybe you both milk another couple seconds or something mm -hmm. like that. Should feel like to be a state champion and not only do that, but be one of the few guys to probably break 1450 out here. It feels unreal, like beyond unreal. I never thought that this would ever happen to me. At what point were you running alone today? Um, basically the whole time after the mile. And I know you've said you don't like racing that way. You like having company. I so. love having competition because it helps push me and the people that are running with me a lot. And it's just overall a better experience. Awesome. Congratulations.